Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to set up our custom audiences, and this is what it's literally all about. 99% of social media advertising is literally all about custom audiences, tracking those who watch previous videos and tracking those who click on your ads, go to your website. Some may opt in, some may not, but the fact that we're tracking them all, that's what it's all about. And, and you can only do it when you have when you have landing pages like this and you're able to customize the domain, which is what we've been able to do. So now let's simply set it up in, in Facebook. So click the three lines to the left and we're going to set up three audiences. Um, we're going to come down to audiences and this is a bookmark as well, custom audiences, but um, you'll see it there, audiences. And so our first audience is going to be, is going to be, we have these two right here that we set up the intro video 25% and, and then people who engage and then this drop down in the top right, can you hit that little drop down? Not that one, but right below it. There's that little arrow. Yeah, click on that. Yeah, perfect. Okay, give us a little bit more room. So the first audience we're going to create is an audience based on, on people who click on your ad, land on your landing page, but not opt in. Right. Many times we click on ads, we go to a website, but for whatever reason, we don't purchase. We don't even click on many much more after that. We clicked and we landed there and that was about it. Right. That's an audience. So we want to be able to track those who land on a page. So click the blue button, uh, create audience. And then we're going to come down to custom audience and we're going to be very, very specific as well. This is all about specific, being super specific. Um, so we're going to go website, website, and then next. Okay, cool. So now over here, that, um, in fact, did we add the pixel to the pages? No. You know what? We have not, right? We haven't. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to add the pixel and we're going to set up custom audiences. So um, go ahead and go back to Kartra. Let's um, let's open up the page. That's what we haven't done. Okay, so we haven't. Okay, cool. So I guess we could do, we could do any of them. So we're going to start with, we're going to do all of them. So start with a thank you or start wherever. Click on edit. And go into edit. Yeah, go in, go into the actual page. You have your folder. Yeah, we're going to just work out of your folder. So so FB Business Manager folder, click on the folder and come down to Pixel. Yeah, your bookmarks, FB Business Manager, your bookmarks to the left, your folder. Oh, this one? Yeah, come down to audio, come down to um come down to Pixel. Okay, so we're going to activate this Pixel um and go ahead and scroll down to that blue dot, click on Continue Pixel Setup. And then MetaPixel, connect, install code manually, copy code, and then continue. And then all those are on, continue, uh, continue. And then the domain's already been verified, so continue. And then, um, and then go to pixel overview. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna take that pixel and we're gonna, we, we already copied it. So now go to Kartra. And we're going to simply paste it in. So to the very, very left, settings, and come down to tracking code. Okay, tracking code, and scroll all the way down and paste it into the Facebook tracking. Apply, and then actions, publish live. Yeah, apply. Actions, publish live. And then return a dashboard. Okay. So now go to these three pages that you have, the tabs, download now, schedule your call, refresh the page. So refresh this page, refresh the schedule your call now. Refresh your call, confirm. Okay, cool. So now Facebook just read the pixel for the first time. So now, did you refresh this one? Refresh this yes. page. Okay, cool. So now go back to the events manager and then refresh this page and this page should open up. Perfect, we're good. Okay, cool. So now X out of this. Okay, so now our pixel is on the page. That's all we, all we gotta do. So now go to your, um. Go. actually, no, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, cool. So we're good here. So now let's click. Now we can do our audiences. So three lines to the left and go to audiences. Yeah, and that is and it was because of the red dot. So as we come came over here, we click on the blue blue button, create audience, and then we went, yeah, custom audience, and then we went website. It was the fact that I saw the red dot and I'm like, man, we didn't install it yet. Now it's green. Got it. Okay, so now events. So now we're just going down from top to bottom. Um, there's the green dot. The pixel is activated. The events, all website visitors come down and go to specific. So again, we're going to be very specific. So come down to specific people who visit specific. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now get the link for the download now page. So that's your landing page. So go up there and copy this link. 
the whole actually you know what you just need you just need the um the domain sharon bell realtor yes no www no https oh got it okay so just just that no no www oh no www yeah so just take the domain okay copy that and then just bring that over to right here okay so we're going to paste it in and so what we're going to tell facebook no 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 just paste it at the bottom we're going to tell facebook here and then hit the drop down yeah perfect so we're telling facebook here that that um to keep people and 30 days, 30 days, I would go, I would go maybe, I would go maybe, maybe, maybe 45 days, the max, like that's the max 45 days. Okay. Okay. So we're creating an audience of those who landed on the landing page, but never opted in. Okay. Yeah. They landed, but they never opted in. And how does Facebook know that? Cause we're going to tell it to them here. So scroll down. They landed on that first page, but they never landed on the second page. So click exclude people. Now get the link for the thank you page. So copy this one, everything except for the www. Okay, got that. And we're gonna, all website visitors go specific. And then the retention, 180, max it out at 180. And then just paste in that link. Okay. And then um, scroll down. And we're going to give an audience name. This is this is um, this is buyer guide page visitors, buyer guide page visitors, and then in parentheses only. They've only landed here. They have not opted in. Buyer guide page visitors only. This would be an audience that you'll always retarget. So on every ad, create audience. Every ad, every ad, you'll always retarget this audience. They've landed on the website, but they've yet to they've yet to opt in. So now done. Okay. So now. Click on create audience again. That's one audience. That's buyer guide page visitors only. The next one is going to be um, website. So we're going to go um, next. We're going to go um, specific. And then the, the retention 180, that's the max 180. And then paste in that link. You have the thank you page link. So paste that in. No, no, don't touch contains. Paste it in right there. And then scroll down. And this is audience name, buyer guide leads buyer guide leads so so when it comes to the leads when it comes to the thank you page this is the thank you page create audience there's two things that you got to do with with the thank you page number one was create the custom audience that's what we just did um this would be an audience click on done this would be an audience that you always exclude so as you start to capture leads people are going into this audience then you'll start to exclude them so ad number three and on for example you'll always exclude this audience Okay. I'll exclude my buyer guide leads. Yeah. They don't need to see, they don't need to keep seeing your ads. Oh, because they're already a lead. Yeah. So exclude Got them. It. Yeah. Got it. So, so that's that. And then, and then the next audience would be um, create audience will be simply your, your appointments. Anyone who's landed on the call confirm page, put them in an audience. So website next. And then, um, and then, yep. Specific. So this is call confirmed, and you can go 180. 180 is fine on this one, the max. And then just get your call confirmed um, link. And paste it in there. And so now audience name, just appointments or, yeah, appointments, scheduled appointments or whatever. Okay, create audience. And that's that. So those are your three audiences. Um, yeah, those are those are super important. Those are super important audiences. So as you go and run the ad, so click on the three lines to the left, go to the ads manager. So now, as you go through the actual ad setup, um, which we'll just kind of go through the first step now, but click on the green one, the green button, create. And then let's say we went with, let's say we went with, well, we got to set up our custom conversion. That we're that's what we're gonna do next. But let's just say we went with traffic. Go with traffic, and then continue. And then over here, the the drop down. You're always gonna go categories. You're always gonna go housing. So right wow. to the middle, categories. Yeah, housing, and then uh, and then next. So as you go to the second step, this is where. You would choose your budget. This is where you would choose your 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 targeting. But this is where you would also choose the retargeting of audiences or excluding of audiences. So scroll down, come down to audiences. So right here, um, keep going. 
right here, right here, right here, custom audiences. So if you click inside that box, custom audiences, this is where you can retarget your audiences. So you'll see your audiences right here. So as you go on again, this is super important and this is super, super basic. It's super obvious. I don't know why people still get confused on this part. When you're retargeting, all you're retargeting are people who watch your videos or people who visit the page only. That's it. So, so if they've watched any of your videos, retarget them. If they've landed on the page, but they haven't opted in, retarget them. Got it. Right. It's that simple. And then, and then for your leads, your buyer guide leads, click away, get away from the drop down. So on the on on the excluding, you would click exclude. So if I don't want to target those who've already opted in, I would exclude them. So exclude, click the box, and I would exclude the buyer guide leads. That's it. Oh, I see. If, I, if I'm retargeting me, so I'm going to include. No, you're going to. Yeah, go ahead. I'll either include them or I'm going to exclude them and I'll exclude the leads. That's that all you're sense. doing is excluding just not the way you have it set up there, but but you're including. So you're including buyer guide leads and you're including page visitors only. Got it. Right. So that you're excluding. Hit. Exclude. So down at the bottom, exclude. You're excluding leads. Oh, I see. I had them both in include. Got it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's that simple. It's that simple. So from this point on, just keep creating audiences around videos. Keep creating audiences around any landing page. But but right now, I would go all in with just the buyer guide. I wouldn't even run an ad for anything else. Like I would only run. Yeah, for I, my buyer guide is ready to go. Yeah, I mean, once we do the conversion thing, we can run an ad right now. Yeah. So, so X out of this. So we're done with custom audiences. So any questions on custom audiences? That's pretty much how you set up a Facebook custom audience. No, that was perfect. Awesome.